Friends, this is the old military base from back then. Fort Smith, Arkansas. You can see what base housing would look like. And these have all been repurposed for other businesses. This metal works. The friends, they're doing a, it says barracks leasing office, commercial developer. So somebody was smart enough to take these old buildings and develop them and turn them into other useful things rather than just tearing them down like so many things get torn down. So let's see if we can find the old barbershop and I bet we can. I don't think this is what we're looking for. But we'll see. So friends, here we are in Fort Smith, Arkansas, the former Fort Chaffee. You can see that's the Museum of Chaffee History. And notice all these buildings are kind of tan now, but one stands out that it is white from back in those days. This is the building that Elvis got the famous haircut when he went in the military. You will remember, they even show that little barber pole right there. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. Stay tuned. So in the video, you can actually see this steeple right here. And you see Elvis walk right down here. And this is where he's getting his hair cut. And he comes up right here. And he goes through that door and he gets his haircut in there. And we're going to go in and check it out. Yes, we are. Stay tuned. So it says the entrance is over here. Let's go over and take a little look see. There's a phone number there, by the way. And there is a website. So friends, y'all have all seen this picture of Elvis coming out of the barbershop, or more likely you've seen the video of Elvis going in the barbershop. That door right there is this door right here. In the video, he comes through this door and he walks through this room and he comes right down here and he sits in this chair right here. In fact, the way that you can know that it is this chair you see where it says James B. Peterson, manager. You notice that the light ends right there. There's no more conduit past it. And if you look in this photograph right here, you see that's the last light. There's no more conduit. And you also see the top of a door. There's the door right there. Pretty amazing. And in this shot at an angle, you could see that there is conduit between the two which is standing at this angle right here, and you can see it. Elvis was right here when he got that famous haircut. Yeah, that one right there. And I want you to look. This place still looks just like it did. The round mirrors. You see this? You see this right here in the videos? And that is the spot right there. Yes, it is. So y'all seen this video so many times and just did not know that it was here. Something that's interesting is there was a class you see, it says Beard Economic Classes, Beard Elementary School, 2008. They raised money for Elvis's barbershop to be saved. Beard Economic Classes, this is the reason that this place was saved. 
And this is the Fort Chaffee Redevelopment Authority acknowledges with genuine appreciation Beard Elementary School's Economic Endeavors Class of 1996 for their contributions to the renovation of the Fort Chaffee Barbershop Museum. William Baskew, Stephen Bashirs, Ashley Casey, Joe Christian, Brian DeHam, Wesley Dickinson, Michael Gill, Scott Hinder Hindmarsh, Rosie Mayfield, Amanda Rogers, Michael Rome, Bethany Savage, Jeff Smith, Josh Sullivan, Amber Turner, Nick Williams. Principal was Helen Holland, paraprofessional was Shannon Pappas, and the teacher, which is the real one that we're gonna thank, is Jan Honeycutt. And hopefully we can get Jan to do an interview with us at some point. Yeah, if it wasn't for them, who knows where this place would have gone. But this is the spot right here. Another story, these two chairs were actually in another building downtown here and they say that Bonnie and Clyde used these chairs. This is really, really cool stuff. So this is the spot. This is the real place that Elvis got that famous haircut. Probably the most famous haircut in the world, right there. And look at how many people were standing in here. So I'm gonna point out some other things. You see the wall right there? It's still right there. You see the, the wood angles right up there? No insulation, just slat walls, you see it? It's all still there. Now something else cool that they did was, this is the photographer right here that took a lot of these famous photos. And that's the Crown graphics camera, was used by local photographer Jack Clevenger to photograph Elvis receiving the haircut heard around the world. It was Clevenger who suggested Elvis playfully blow some of his shorn locks out of his hand in which Elvis complied and gave the famous phrase, hair today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, that camera right there. And then over here, this is where some fans wrote President Eisenhower mad because they were putting Elvis in. It was Linda Kelly, Sherry Bain, and Mickey Matson. That's pretty cool stuff. Some other interesting things is he was here on March the 24th, 1958, and these photos are from that day, and you can see the colonel is there as well. Now, the night before, Elvis didn't sleep, went to a drive-in movie with Anita Wood, that's him in the barracks right there. And he was here on the 25th with some photos from that day. The famous photo, the famous haircut happened this day, 25th. It's 26 when he's getting sh shots. Y'all remember that photo right there? Then he was here on the 27th. That looks like a scene from Jailhouse Rock, doesn't it? And he was here on the 28th. By that time, he had his uniform and he was ready to go. Yeah. The haircut heard around the world. And this is his induction papers. Entertainer, actor, recording artist. Yeah, it happened right there. Isn't that incredible? Then they would have had this to take the money. That's a decent likeness of Elvis right there. That's leaving Kennedy in Memphis. That is getting on the bus there 
it. Or getting off the bus at Fort Chaffee. Says that is 5.30 in the morning when the lights were put on in the barracks. He was eating. Seven. See, there's yep, yeah, six or seven haircut. Haircut, haircut, haircut. This is cool stuff. The recreation of this is amazing. Even down to this. Barber registrations. And you'll see that in the video as well. This is 8.03, by the way. So another interesting thing, friends, is Friday, December the 20th, 1957, it's a duty I've got to feel, and I'm going to do it. Elvis, that is a direct quote, and he did. He could have gotten out of it and done USO tours and stuff like that, but he chose to do it the right way because he was a real American. All right, friends, so check this out. You see that switch right there? It's still there, right there. Still right there. And it looks like the same barber pole or one darn, darn near like it. It's even kind of, yeah. That's pretty darn cool, I must say. Yeah, right there. So friends, Lance just pointed out that the cash register is sitting right there and you see the drawers open, the guy's standing there, and Elvis would have paid 65 cents. So I want you to look, the cash register is still right here, and then look at what's rung up on the cash register. 65 cents, there you go. So this is incredible stuff, man. Thank you so much for having this put back together, or actually not put back together, just preserved. Yeah, this is preserved, which is, incredible i've seen that video a thousand times and i always wondered where it happened at i'm just glad that i was able to come and friends this is base is not a base anymore so Correct. you just drive Correct. right up to this Completely building accessible yep six and days a week lance is very nice so you're closed on sunday on sunday and uh, you're open from 9 to 4? Yes. Okay. Nine to 4, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Yes, sir. And this is not a hard place to get to. It's got great parking. It's very accessible and um, pictures, families. Yep. And you want people to come, right? Oh, we want people to come. It's, it's really great. We get a lot of people coming specifically for the Elvis Museum, constantly giving new information. I'm learning stuff all the time from all the Elvis fans and it's just a great little community to be a part of. It is. It's great. And it doesn't cost anything to come in here, but you will accept donations. We accept donations, but it is free. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, man, I don't think you can beat the price. But friends, support this. This is important. It's an important part of Elvis's legacy. I believe that. Make sure you tighten up and say hello to Lance while you're there. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.